Hello, this is Fiendish with Dimension Touring, and welcome to the introduction to Tinker Tools. Uh, this is going to be the first of a series of video guides about this Dimension add-on. Um, if you've never used a Dimension add-on before, you may have heard like some misinformation um, that says that a Dimension add-on will build for you. Um, this is not necessarily true. You can copy and paste, um, but you still have to place an item to copy and paste from. Uh, by yourself and then add-on of course will not come up with a design for you you have to do that on your own uh, Tinker Tools is the newest add-on that we have for Dimensions uh, it's a replacement of Dimension Tools uh, which was available for a while it's no longer being updated um, if you still have it installed it may uh, have a lot of bugs and glitches and if not uh, then Tinker Tools is the replacement, and Tinker Tools is in version 1.0.0, and there's been a lot of things added to it from uh, Dimension Tools, which was what the foundation for the new add-on. Uh, before we get started with the UI tour, I want to talk a little bit about the axes. Rift, Rift Dimensions use a three-axis system. Um, you usually recognize that if you do it by hand as red, green, and blue. And all those are when it's when you're talking about three axes or three axes is a direction of movement. Green or Y when you look at your add-on, because these all correspond with the direction here, um, moves it up and down and that will not vary depending on how you're looking at it. The two that do vary are X and Z. X is red. Z is blue, and X will either move it from side to side or from front to back, depending on how you're looking at it, and the same thing with Z. It's either going to be front to back or from side to side. And then when we start talking about rotations, you've got yaw, pitch, and roll, which also correspond with Y, X, and Z. Now when you talk about movement, we're going to talk about like distances in game units. Game units are, they equate to one meter. If you use, here it is, this thing, the dimensional distance indicator, this is all set where your smallest increment is five meters, so that's going to equate to ga five game units. Uh, this is a handy tool to use, I, I like using these things. They're great for alignment if I don't feel like doing a bunch of math. But sometimes when 5 meters is your smallest radius, um, most things aren't that big. So when you need to work smaller, that's where also an add-on like Tinker Tools can come in handy. A uh, little bit of background information on Tinker Tools itself. It is authored by Lynx 3 d on the Rift forums. Um, he currently has a thread active on the Dimension subform regarding any bugs or anything that might be fine, and that's where he also posts a lot of updates. It is available for installation off of Curse, and you can also find the master zip on uh, GitHub, the links of which are posted below. For this introduction, we'll take a brief tour of the UI um, without spending a lot of time on it because each section is going to have its own little guide, except for Tribal Magic and the Alphabet Text Writer because there are numerous guides about alphabets on RDD. Um, it's a carryover from Dimension Tools so we're not going to really touch on it here. So let's get started from top to bottom, left to right with Move. Move is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's moving an, ob an object. You have a, an absolute position which is an absolute coordinate. If I click this, these little reload buttons, this gives me my absolute coordinate in this dimension of where this plank is. More accurately, it gives me the coordinate in this dimension where all the arrows connect, the selection point, which sometimes is in the center of an object and more often is centered on one or more axes, but not all three. And then you have a relative movement which says I want to move it just a little bit in any given direction and you would de determine what those parameters are. 
Scale is something size. I have a reset so I can set it back to the default. The default's almost always one. Um, some things can't be scaled like elevators and NPCs, so those will not ever be able to be adjusted. But most everything else can be, and what scale something is it depends a lot on what item it is, and everything has a different scale. Uh, the only thing that's uh, consistent across all items is the smallest scale is 0.25. Now 0.25 of some items is a whole lot smaller than 0.25 is on other items. Um, but for these guys, mostly we'll be dealing with building blocks, so they're, they're pretty consistent across the board. And it also has a relative scaling and as group function, so when you make something like, say, this staircase, if I want to change the scale of it, I can do that really quickly and easily, as long as I understand the difference between absolute and relative scaling. Copy and paste. Copy and paste is an area where we're actually going to spend a lot of time at on these add-ons, on this add-on guide, because this is one of the most functional and versatile areas of the add-on. You can do distance offsets in X, Y, and Z. You can do rotational offsets with the pitch down roll. You can do a scale offset if you want to, say, make an interesting design or you're just doing whatever. I know I like to make canisters with um, a scale offset so if I'm making a house or whatever. Um, I can offset multiple items and I can set the the offset on distances. Flicker reduction is something that we'll cover more when we're actually in co copy and paste. Custom pivot is how this uh, spiffy spiral staircase was made and it was also how this dome was made. Custom Pivot's going to be its own area. And then Tinker Tools has the functionality where it can either use new items straight from your just your bags or from your bags and your bank. Tribal Magic is um, it's a holdover from before we had the free camera which is this thingy right here. that lets me get up here so I can see this up close. Tribal Magic requires a round tribal table. Um, those are available from the Rift Store for four gold apiece. I can mount or not while I'm on it. And if I want to use it, I can just use these sliders to go up or down. And I can get up here or maybe if I want to get a general overview of an area, I can do it that way. And then when I'm done, all I have to do is pick up the table because it does count toward my item limit. Rescan is a new function for Tinker Tools, and it would let me, say, change out all this brown brick for something else. Now this will only work for building blocks, um, but still I know I reskin a lot of items. And so this <laughs> this little area alone has just saved me tons of time uh, when it comes to building because I'll build something in whatever I have and then I'll get a count of how many I might need of say more expensive item and then I'll reskin it. And normally what you used to have to do was go and click each piece one at a time and replace it that way. Reskin works in conjunction with uh, copy and paste and with load and save sets. And we'll get into that a lot as we go into those functions a little bit more deeper. Rotate is another what I call a feeder menu. Uh, you also have an absolute and a relative here. Absolute means that I want to take this block and turn it 90 degrees. Relative means I want to take this block and then turn it another 35 degrees from where it's already at. And then I can also do it as a group if I want to select, say, this whole staircase right here 
and turn it, I can do that really easily and I won't uh, lose lose my uh, I won't lose the shape of my staircase here. The offset calculator is another area that's been pretty heavily revamped from Dimension Tools. Um, it works with building blocks and floor tiles and it basically will help you set an offset for how far to copy and paste or do whatever a custom pivot or maybe make a roof tile. Um, it works with an, if it's at the default location, if it's rotated in one axis, if it's rotated in two axes, or if it's on an odd angle like this one here that's rotated 35 degrees. I could take it and I can do an offset on that 35 degrees and not have to do a lot of complicated math. Uh, I know when I've talked to people that's one of their biggest gripes is with um, they perceive with using an add-on is that you have to be some, some kind of math wizard and that is just not true. In fact we will do these guides uh, with pretty much no math and there might be some trial and error if we're not using any math but they can it can be done. The offset calculator also has a widget so it can once I um, come up with something it will automatically put those numbers in either move or copy and paste. Load and save sets is another area where we'll be spending a little bit of time. I'm not going to cover importing and exporting for these video guides. I have a written guide on that um, on the DTC and that link will be available. And I'll te we'll go through how to actually save a set, how to load a set, and what's the difference between a default set, a save set, and a TBX set. A TBX set, I'll just cover that right quick, is a toolbox set. A toolbox was the original dimension add-on. Some people still use it. I still use it. Um, I have a whole bunch of, of saved toolbox sets. Most of them are on this PC. And that lets me be able to use the functionality of Tinker Tools, but still with a toolbox set. And then Alphabet is a text writer so that you don't have to uh, type out a lot of words yourself and it works, it's pretty simple. It has two fonts, Lone Ranger and Magneto. Magneto actually uses less items. You can only type one word at a time. You pick your font, pick your skin, and if you want to place it horizontally or ver vertically and then load. What you won't be able to do is tell it where to load the word, you'll have to move that manually once it's uh, once the set is made. Just like that. And you'll need to have those items in your bag or your bank. Tinker Tool also has a basic help menu um, that you can use while building that covers most of the, the basic functions. It doesn't cover uh, reskinning. Uh, it doesn't touch on custom pivot too much. And then it does also cover importing and exporting of a save set and some change logs. Some basic commands that will let you configure it are ttconfig, um, and then if you go to the add-on menu and open t uh, Tinker Tools, it'll show you some other commands that you can use. These guides are written with permission and filmed with permission. Um, any mistakes are going to be purely my own and remember that my way isn't necessarily the only way that you can do something. Um, so if you get this add-on and you decide you want to use it, I highly recommend experimenting and find out, finding out which way works best for you and how you want to build and for the things that you like to build. Our next video will be on movement. We're going to show how you can move this whole thing, which normally in the default Rift client you would not be able to move this entire structure. It's too many pieces. But it can be done through Tinker Tools. Until then, happy building.